So I am uh, continuing my uh, previous lecture that is the essential components of the pharmaceutical care. Uh, in my second part I am going to discuss the uh, third uh, parameter or third component of the pharmacist workup of the drug therapy. Mm, the third one is identify the prime pharmacotherapy problems. Identify the prime pharmacotherapy problems. Uh, what is prime? Uh, the uh, I am going to discuss it in detail. And the goal of the prime is to identify the actual or potential problem that could compromise the desired patient outcome. Uh, basically, in this prime pharmacotherapy uh, problem, uh, prime pharmacotherapy. Uh, we will identify the drug related problems uh, that will hinder uh, to get our desired patient outcome. So what is PRIME? P stands for the pharmaceutical based problems. For what are the pharmaceutical based problems? Uh, it is that the, if the patient is not receiving a prescribed drug or so the uh, and maybe the drug is uh, uh, doing its toxicity in the serum so the routine uh, monitoring of the labs uh, is required or screening is required or other examinations uh, and if the routine monitoring is missing and the so it will create the pharmaceutical based problem uh, related to the drug con uh, drug uh, and uh, R stands for the risk to the patient. Uh, risk to the patient includes the adverse drug reactions which can be occurred from any drug or the drug allergies. The patient may get any drug allergy. Uh, so we will have to uh, check or monitor the uh, drug therapy to minimize these risks to the patient uh, or evaluation of the new complaint which uh, would which can be reported by the patient the i stands for the interaction interactions could be the drug drug interaction the drug disease interaction the drug food interaction the drug lab interaction etc and the m stands for the mismatch between the medication and the condition or the patient need uh, which includes the mismatch example is the no indication of the current prescribed drug uh, the drug is prescribed but it is not fit for that condition or indication for a drug but not prescribed uh, for example the disease is there but there is no medication prescribed for the, uh, the treatment of that disease or the actual barriers are there to implement the farm uh, to implement the medication regimen for example the financial constraints uh, of the patient the lifestyle issues of the patient E stands for the efficacy issues uh, means the too much of the correct drug is given to the patient or too little dose of the correct drug is given to the patient correct means the drug is fit for that condition and the wrong drug prescribed more uh, efficacious options or choices will be possible for that condition so these are the issues which should be considered or which should evaluate to uh, detect the pharmaceutical based problems or uh, for uh, in and for this we have to uh, create a prime pharmacotherapy plan after all uh, this the information data collection and the uh, core pharmacotherapy plan and the prime pharmacotherapy problem we will formulate a farm uh, note or the uh, soap note um, these are basically uh, similar notes I will tell you 
later farm um, progress note is uh, a document uh, which will help the uh, to which will help to document the patient information and to intervene the drugs or whatever interventions you are uh, going to do in the patient uh, pharmacotherapy plan so the f stands for the findings a stands for the assessment findings include the patient specific information uh, that gives a basis or that will lead to the recognition of the pharmacotherapy problem uh, for the pharmacist intervention the findings include the patient sign in symptoms the uh, laboratory uh, test results the patient complaints etc and the assessment the pharmacist evaluation of the findings including a statement uh, any additional information needed to assess the problem or severity or priority or urgency of the problem or short term and the long term goals of the intervention uh, the findings include the subjective as well as objective information i will discuss it uh, in later in soap note so in findings the pharmacist will be responsible uh, to get the patient specific information or to uh, write the uh, patient laboratory test result and the patient complaints etc and the uh, in in part of the assessment uh, the any additional information that will be needed to assess the problem and to make the recommendations will be assessed by the pharmacist in that case the severity priority or urgency of the problem should be stated whether the intervention that uh, we will going to follow should be made immediately or within one day or after one week etc and the short term or long term goals of the intervention should also be provided the r stands for the resolution resolution uh, including the prevention resolution is any action which is proposed to resolve the drug related problem based upon the assessment the intervention plan include the actual or proposed action by the pharmacist and the intervention option may include the counseling or educating the patient making the recommendations to the patient or the caregiver informing the prescribers about the patient care or about the intervention or making recommendations to the prescribers withholding any medication or advising against use so these should be stated in farm note the m stands for monitoring or follow up uh, the monitoring parameters to assess the efficacy safety and outcome of the intervention and the parameters uh, and timing of the follow up monitoring Uh, is required to assess the efficacy safety and outcome of the intervention the monitoring includes the which parameters to be followed intent of the monitoring ways of monitoring the parameters frequency of monitoring duration of monitoring anticipated or desired finding decision point to alter the therapy uh, parameters uh, the monitoring parameters for example the pain the depressed mood the serum potassium level serum drug levels or the efficacy of the drug uh, these are the uh, parameters which should be uh, monitor in uh, in the part of m of the farm note 
the toxicity parameters of the drug should also be evaluated or monitored for example the ADRs allergic drug reactions etc so the PWDT is based on the farm node finding assessment resolution recommend or recommendation and monitoring uh, or we can say that in place of farm node we can also use the soap node the soap node is uh, very similar to farm node uh, except the some parts S O A P S stands for subjective information O stands for objective information A stands for assessment and P stands for plan the subjective in what is subjective information uh, I'm going to discuss it and uh, basically the subjective informations are the patient chief complaints the severity or duration of symptoms and the subjective information is uh, given by the patient uh, what he is feeling or the objective information is the uh, what the pharmacist uh, observe about the patient or what he uh, or what he uh, evaluate about patient's weight, height, la laboratory test results etc and in part of assessment uh, it is similar as uh, in that of as I have discussed in farm note the assessment part is similar in case of soap note 2 and the plan includes the resolution and or recommendation and monitoring in part of plan we will write the resolution as well as monitoring so with the help of the pharmacist workup of the drug therapy we can plan direct and implement the pharmaceutical care activities within various practicing environments such as the clinical settings community pharmacy ambulatory care settings home health services inpatient hospital practice etc and uh, we can provide a good patient care uh, by these means uh, with the proper documentation and intervention uh, uh, intervention will be done according to the need and according to the requirement of the patient condition and uh, we can again uh, follow the this soap note or farm note to monitor the patient care here uh, the subjective and the objective information is given the subjective part of the soap note include the what the uh, patient or the client report to the pharmacist regarding their knowledge feelings attitude and behavior for example uh, what a client tells you about their child's asthma including what they say uh, they do in to aid in managing that asthma or the things that happened in the past and how they understand the issue and how they feel about it basically the subjective note provide a picture of the client's experience or patient's experience and and perspective about the disease about the drug therapy together this information uh, we will need to ask a number of uh, specific questions uh, to the patient and objective information uh, that you document it will include what you directly observe and hear during your meetings with the patient and conversation with the patients these note will simply describe you uh, who did what and who said what without any interpretation judgment or analysis from you So I'm going to uh, so I'm going to summarize my topic over here by this flowchart. In the pharmacist workup of the drug therapy, we will first collect the data. Uh, we will uh, and in this part we will review the patient medical record. We will review the medication profile and the in and we will interview uh, 
patient to get the information and then we develop the core pharmacotherapy plan according to the condition outcome uh, risk and uh, efficacy parameters and uh, identify the drug uh, related problems or patient needs uh, based on the prime and then formulate a pharmaceutical care plan in uh, case of soap note or farm note we can offer soap note as well as farm note and then communicate this plan with the patient and uh, other healthcare team members and then document actions taken in patient medical record and then the follow up here is uh, the picture of the pharmacy, uh, pharmacist workup of the drug therapy uh, form you can see the patient database patient description part is their patient's chief complaint history of present illness compliance uh, this is basically given to show you how the PWDT form looks like this is a long form so I am showing you some of the pictures over here the medication history is there pharmacological pharmacologic review of system and the laboratory test are here On another page, uh, you can see the diagnosis part and the medication indication for the drug, patient specific or drug related problem list. You can see the parameters too little of the correct dose, too much of the correct dose. Wrong drug, problem secondary to an ADR, drug, drug drug interaction part is there and the problem due to the patient not receiving the drug no valid medical indication you can see the desired pharmacotherapeutic outcome for each drug related problem you can write over here or pharmacotherapeutic alternatives for each drug related problem you can write over here then from that pharmacologic therapeutic alternatives you can choose the best pharmacotherapeutic solution uh, and then individualize the therapeutic regimen or you in, in this part you can write the therapeutic drug monitoring plan then implement the individualized regimen and monitoring plan now you can formulate a soap note over here the subjective information or objective information which will be collectively known as findings in case of the farm note and then you can write the assessment and the plan uh, and in case of the farm note uh, you will write uh, the resolution or recommendation and then you will write the monitoring and in case of the soap note uh, you will write the monitoring and the resolution together and then you can write over here the discharge summary and then you can write the communication over here so this is all with the essential components of the pharmaceutical care hope uh, uh, you will get my all the points discussed in my two presentations if you have any questions you can ask me anytime uh, I will come back to you with my another lecture in my next presentation inshallah so until then take care thank you